Hello, my name is VortexWarp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today what I have for you is an item sorter that uses no comparators. It's really compact, only 2 by 5 by 3 um, For an item sorter without comparators, it's compact anyway. Although you will need an item buffer clock unless the items that are coming into your system are coming in really slowly. The most useful thing for this is Skyblock when you don't have access to the nether, or any servers where you don't have access to the nether, and all resources used in this design can be farmed in a Skyblock world. I've already uploaded one of these, but it was a lot more compact and it was Evan Minecraft concept series, which means it's something that's brewing in my mind that has not yet been refined. Some of them are developed into actual videos, some of them are not, but that is the idea behind that series. So let me show you what we've got. As you can see, this is two sort of modules next to each other. You can have them next to each other, um, which is a good thing. Um, and as you can see, this is what they're like. This one will sort us out magenta concrete. Um, so if we, and this other one will sort us out some ice. So let's go like that. So I'm going to get myself some ice. I'm also going to get myself some magenta concrete. And I, first off, I'm going to show you this in an action before anything else. So we can put our items in here. We can have a clock that switches on. Now, of course, this clock will have to be running around your world, but you only need one of these for all your item sorters. As you can see, all the ice is picked up and goes into this chest here, and all of the magenta stuff comes into this chest here. Ignore that string, that was already in there before this. So yeah, it works pretty well. Uh, we end up with only that many items in this hopper and that many in this hopper. We need six items for each item sorter. So the way this works is pretty simple. Um, the items are aligned so on this block and this block. So they can be picked up with the hopper, but they're also travelling at the speed of ice. So, if an item comes through, it will hit first this trip wire, which will unpower the torch, um, and then repower this, which will flash it on for a quick second. If the item goes into here, uh, the, hop will, the item will go in. The hopper will be unlocked below it, so the item gets pushed down into the chest below it, keeping the buffer in here. But if the item doesn't get picked up, it will hit the second trip wire, which will also activate this redstone here, which will mean that it doesn't flash on and the items stay in this hopper, meaning the buffer remains. It's a pretty simple concept, and I've compacted it down from my concept series. But each item sorter, you'll need two blocks of run up. So if you want two in a row, you'll need four blocks of run up. And if you want one, you'll need two blocks of run up. By run up, I mean blocks of water. So you've got one, two, three, four here, because there's two sorters. And then after that, you'll need four, so four blocks before the next two, or two blocks before the next one. Bear in mind, you cannot have six blocks and then have three, because the items reach the maximum speed, and the sorter will no longer work. The items need to be coming in one at a time, because otherwise, uh, if a stack comes over, then of course, it will only register one item coming through, but it will, uh, so this will start to fill up, and if uh, they come in quick succession, it doesn't always work, because this is activated right after the first item goes over it, it can unlock it for longer or not even unlock it at all. So I'm going to get on with the tutorial now and show you how it is built. To build this, you'll need various blocks, four tripwire hooks, four redstone dust, two hoppers, one redstone torch, two string, and three ice. Okay, so I've got my two blocks of run up here. As you can see, they're held in by these bars. You can't use four blocks here because the item needs to stay aligned and it will hit those four blocks. So, first off, you will need to come one block out from this sign and come here and place a hopper resting into there. Then you'll need to place a temporary block there, a hopper running into it, and remove the temporary block. Then, behind this hopper, you can place a block here, a block to the side, a block out, and a block to its side. You can then place four redstone dust on top of all of those blocks. Then come above this redstone dust and place a block and one next to it. And then four tripwire hooks on these blocks here. You can then place your two string on top of that hopper and next to it. And then come behind here and place your redstone torch there. Then you can fill in your items. So we shuffle it in with iron. And your sorter is complete. So I've attached a test here and we'll show that it works. Um, I'm going to show you how to put the clock in a second, but let's put in some iron, some ice, and some redstone. Uh, I'm not going to bother with magenta concrete, which is in that one, but we should see. The iron ends up in here. 
the ice ends up in here, and of course the magenta concrete's already ended up in here. And the redstone all comes off the end, where it can be picked up with a hopper or dung, whatever you would like with it. So this is where any miscellaneous items would go. To build the clock, you will need, again, various blocks, three redstone repeaters, and a couple of redstone dots. You will also need two chests and a dropper. Okay, so to start off this system, you'll need four or two blocks of run up, depending, and iron bars blocking off all but the first two blocks. Then you can place your dropper facing towards you, it can be a dispenser if you would like, and then you can place a chest there and a chest there. Then you need to place a block here and above it too, and break up this one here to prevent the items from escaping, and place a water block in there. Then you need to come out by a couple of blocks, so one, two, three. Um, two wide, and we need to place a repeater on four ticks running into there, a repeater on four ticks here, and a repeater on four ticks here. You will then place a redstone there, 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 and there. This redstone can be placed by block, and you can break this one out below if you want. You will then need to activate your clock with a lever, like so, and as you can see, it now dispenses our items. So, that's that. If you've enjoyed, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments also. If you'd like to check out my Skybook world where I'll soon be applying this, I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.